What's going on, car family? I'm Ben Wayne. Thank you for joining me in another video. Today, I've returned to Bentley Atlanta to check out the new 2021 Bentley Bentayga plug-in hybrid. That's right, this vehicle features a combustion engine and an electric motor. The future is now. So now when it comes to the Bentayga platform, you have a selection of choices. You can either go for the W12, the V8 model, or this plug-in hybrid if you want a smaller carbon footprint. So this isn't just some sort of fad, Bentley Motors actually plans on going fully electric by 2030. That's right, fully electric by 2030. Personally, I'm not sure how I feel about that yet, but quite frankly, the future is now. This particular Bentayga has been finished in a glacier white. It features a beautiful linen main hide and is contrasted by a gorgeous walnut veneer. It looks stunning on the interior. So today, I wanna check out the exterior and interior details of this 2021 Bentley Bentayga plug-in hybrid and see how this ride has been engineered for excellence. Starting the review off at the front of the Bentayga, one of the first things I wanna hit on is obviously the power plant of this hybrid model. You're getting a three liter V6 and an electronic motor. Combined output is 443 horsepower and 516 pound foot of torque. Now, if you're just using a three liter V6, your output's gonna be 335 horsepower. That electronic motor adds about 126 horsepower as well. Now, you can go fully electric with a range of up to about 18 or 19 miles, but your miles per gallon equivalent, that means three liter V6 and the electric motor is gonna get you 45 miles per gallon equivalent. You're seeing quite a difference in this hybrid model already when compared to the W12 and V8 models. So your zero to 60 time, it's gonna be 5.2 seconds. This also has the top speed of 158 miles per hour and features an A-speed automatic transmission as well. Now, going over the aesthetics of the Bentayga, not much has changed since the refresh. We have the crisp lines that Bentley is known for. You have the LED matrix headlamps with the crystal cut effect. I love these intricate details that Bentley incorporates in their vehicles. The front grille is wider and more prominent than what you found on the first couple years of the Bentayga. But overall, the front of the Bentayga has that clean and crisp appeal that we've come to know. And overall just looks like a Bentley because it has this huge presence, especially due to this chrome matrix grille. When it comes to the side profile of this hybrid model, one thing I like about it is that it really doesn't stand out that much from other Bentaygas. So it doesn't have to scream hybrid with a series of badges or green exterior trim colors. All you get is a simple hybrid badge on this door panel here, just keeping it nice and simple, aiding with the overall clean look of the Bentayga. Now, of course, you're getting these traditional superformed lines that Bentley uses throughout their entire fleet. Gives it a nice, fresh, and crisp look, but overall, the side profile looks really nice. Now, this particular Bentayga has been fitted with a 21-inch, five twin-spoke, black and polished wheels. I really love the duo tone finish on these wheels. Really livens up the exterior as well. Of course, you're getting massive iron brake rotors with black calipers that feature Bentley lettering as well. So I'm sure one of the questions that's gonna come up is, this is a plug-in hybrid, where do you charge it? So the panel located on the passenger side is for your gasoline. There's another panel that looks just like this on the driver's side. That's where you plug in your charge port and it's gonna take about two and a half to three hours to get a full charge. The back of the Mentega features the typical styling that you would expect, especially with the refresh that we got in the previous model year. Of course, you're getting a large spoiler on the top of the roof, but coming lower is where you see most of the changes prior to the refresh. So you're getting a revised rear fascia. You have new LED tail lamps that are wider and pushed out to the side to help pronounce the vehicle's overall width. They also feature the crystal cut-like detail that we saw in the headlamps up front. So I like how the design styling has been united with the front and the rear. Really like that detail there. Now you also get Bentley lettering as well. And then coming lower, you have stainless steel exhaust tips. Let's go ahead and check out the interior. Sitting in the interior of this Bentega hybrid, you'll notice that it looks just like any other Bentega that's out there on the street. You're getting tons of quality and that leather aroma from these linen hides hits you as soon as you sit in this vehicle. But everything that you see, touch, and even smell just gives you that sense of high quality and craftsmanship, which is what Bentley is known for. Starting at the top of the dash, it's covered in this silky, smooth, and soft, supple leather 
really feels good to the touch of course has contrast stitching going across the dash now in the center of the console at the top you'll notice you have this nice large air conditioning vent which isn't the standard bullseye vent that we've become accustomed to over the past several decades this is a new styling here that represents the bentley flying b with the wings and has a knurled finish it's one solid piece of metal and it's truly amazing gives you an awesome sense of quality now it's topped off with the Breitling clock that sits in the center there. And of course there are organ stops here that you can pull and push to open and close the vents. They're nice and damped. And again, gives you a nice sense of high quality reminding you of exactly what type of vehicle that you're sitting in. Coming lower, you have a 10.9 inch high definition display here. It's nice and responsive. I love how Bentley is starting to incorporate the technology that we need in these vehicles, such as the wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And of course, this vehicle features technology such as the My Bentley app, which allows you to set the time that you're gonna leave and it allows the vehicle to charge so you have the optimum charge whenever you're ready to depart. It also gives you features such as being able to control the air conditioning through your phone. So that way, when you're ready to leave, you have a nice comfortable environment inside the vehicle, regardless if it's freezing cold outside or you're in the blistering heat. So things like that really set this vehicle apart and gives you an overall more enjoyable experience. Now coming lower, again, you have more of that beautiful walnut trim just really looks stunning in this vehicle gives a good contrast against the brown hide and then this primary linen hide as well now your air conditioning system features these digital controls so as you rotate the knobs the temperature is displayed in the center screen within the control i think that's a really nice touch and again wireless charging lower here two cup holders and your electronic gear selector that features leather and then has a nice knurled finish as well gives you a really high sense of quality in this vehicle. Now coming further back, you do have controls for your sports, Bentley mode, comfort or a custom mode, and then of course your engine start stop button in the center here. And of course there's additional storage in the center console here as well with two USB type C ports and the 12 volt power outlet. Now coming over to the steering wheel, it has a nice duo tone finish with contrast stitching. I love the way they brought the linen in here. It takes eight hours just to stitch these steering wheels by hand alone. So again, that craftsmanship is unmatched, but this steering wheel feels so good in my hands. Behind the steering wheel, of course, you have two knurled shift paddles in case you wanna drive in manual mode. And of course, you have a fully digital instrument cluster as well with a special display for your hybrid features, giving you information such as your charge and your range as well. Now, the door panels feature that same quality that you would come to expect with the brown hide, the contrast stitching, the beautiful wood veneer, the steel accents, and of course, you have cold to the touch metal door handles. So if it looks like metal in this car, that's exactly what it is. Now you also have controls for all four windows, your side view mirrors, storage on the bottom of the door as well, and two position seat memory. Speaking of the seats, of course, you're getting three levels of heating and cooling as well. And without question, you have the massage features, and these are some of the most comfortable seats in the automotive segment as well. But the seats are nice to the touch, have nice perforations, and feature the Bentley logo embroidered in the seats as well. But overall, this is truly an amazing cabin, beautiful place to be, and it just truly blocks you out from everything else that's going on on the exterior of the vehicle. It's a nice, serene environment. Let's go ahead and check out the rear. Now I will say sitting in the back is about as comfortable as it is up front. I don't feel cramped. I have tons of leg room. I'm sitting behind myself. So I didn't move the driver's seat at all and it feels quite spacious back here. Now, as far as the details, of course you're getting all the details that you had up front. If you look at the door panels, again, you have the contrast stitching, the duo tone finish with the wood veneer, metal door handles, and again, controls for your windows and storage on the bottom of the door. Now there is one awesome option back here in the center console. There's a remote that allows you access to all the vehicle's features, pops out the center console. So you can simply use this to control your climate, your seats, your blinds, different types of lighting. It has a nice weight to it, which really makes it feel expensive and high quality. It even has a knurled finish on the back of the remote as well. So this looks really amazing and feels nice to the touch like everything else in this vehicle. I'll put this back in the center console. The center console also features two air conditioning vents with the organ stops that help you open and close the vents as well. You also have air conditioning vents on the side panels. So you're getting plenty of ventilation back here along with a huge panoramic roof. But overall, the rear of the Bentega is quite comfortable. It would be quite the awesome experience to take a road trip in. 
Now let's go ahead and get this Bentayga Hybrid out on the road and see how it handles. All right, so we're cruising in the 2021 Bentayga we're Hybrid. We're cruising in the 2021 Bentayga Hybrid, also known as Aisha's car. <laughs> so I'm sure you've missed a Bentayga for a while, right? I have, I have, <laughs> and I'm really excited about this new update. Yes, yeah. So this is now a plug-in hybrid version, so you get a combination of a combustion and an electric motor. Right now we're in E mode, which is why it's so quiet. So you're looking at about 19 miles full range on E-Mode. Okay, eco-smart, eco-friendly, <laughs> leaf mode, smart mode. Yes, there's a lot of modes coming out <laughs> these days. But um, the demand is out there. A lot of people are going to say, well, if you can buy a $180,000 vehicle, this one's around 200000 why are you worried about fuel economy? Well, some people just want to have a smaller carbon footprint, and that's where this comes in. There's demand for it. These are selling like hotcakes. Yeah. We were lucky to get our hands on this one, right. which is why we haven't been at Bentley for a while. These cars have just been selling. 2020 was their best year to date. So we're finally behind the wheel of the all new hybrid Bentayga. And it is exactly everything that it you would think a Bentley so would be. Good. Yeah. You know, it, I, I laugh at the, the e-cars, you mm -hmm. know, because they're so quiet. But the crazy part about it is, is that uh, typically a Bentley anyway is quiet. Right. So I was like looking for some noise, but the only thing about these cars, they all have that little, you know, like yeah, that yeah. star, right. that, that Star Trek kind of, right. Right. you know, futuristic sound to and it. Speaking of, Bentley is making a push to go fully electric by 2030. Wow, yeah. So wait, it won't be hybrid, so I can't put any <laughs> gas in it? Well, we'll see when, when that gets there, but their goal is to go fully electric. Their vehicles are quiet anyway, like you said, so that's what people are doing. People want better fuel economy or other sources. I mean, let's be real. Just a couple weeks ago that we're still struggling through the gas crisis that yeah. hit here all up the East Coast. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm pretty sure all the people who had an electric car were like, see you later. Yeah, yeah, you know, they were. bother affecting yeah, us. Yeah, I got cut off by a few, a few Teslas that week. So, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so um, but yeah, overall, you're getting everything that you know about the Bentayga in this vehicle. It doesn't look any different from any other Bentayga on the street, but it just has that hybrid powertrain. So what I will do is switch it from out of E, e mode, and then we'll go into sport mode, right? Total difference. And as you can see, Total difference. it does have some pickup. Now it's not the V8 or the W12, obviously. This goes zero to 60 in about 5.2. Okay, so this is sport mode in electric still? So we're using the e electric motor and the combustion engine at the same time. Okay, okay. That gives us combined output of about 443 horsepower. I could tell the difference. Right, so there's a difference in pickup, right? Right. But if you just want to cruise in the E mode, you can do that. So we'll get out of sport mode. You know, the E mode is going to make it so smooth. It's just. <laughs> it is. It is. But I just love how light this car feels. It, it makes you feel like you're driving on glass. And that's something that Bentleys are really good at doing. Right. So, you know, I mean, nothing has changed from outside to inside since right. the last refresh. Nothing um, drastic. Right. I, 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 I love... You love this interior, I huh? I love this. This is great. And I'm not typically one to flock after brown like that. Mm -hmm. But brown is the trending color this year, too. It's one of the top colors that came out last year and is still pushing through this year, right. brown. Um, even for females. And it so, looks good with this linen hide. And then it's yeah. done right. It's 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 classy. It's not too masculine, and I, I, it's a little hint of feminine in there. Yep. I love that. And how about this wood veneer? That. The walnut looks like veneer. A beaver to me. <laughs> it looks beautiful, and you know what? It's a no cost option. Oh wow! Yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a no it's a no cost option. So, 
all the detail that you would love in a Bentley is now available in a hybrid model. I mean, look at the detail on this air conditioning yeah. vent here with the knurling. I still want the bees to come back on my tail lamps. On the tail lamps? Yeah. yeah so I do miss the bees on the tail lamps as well. Yeah. But hopefully, maybe next generation, they'll bring that back. Huge panoramic roof, as Love you would expect. It. Gives you an airy feeling here to what is... Is it just me, but, or does it feel a little more curved? I feel like the original Bentayga that came out seemed a little bit more boxy. So the interior is about the same. Okay. Um, aside from some additional legroom, an mm -hmm. updated infotainment screen. Uh, the exterior is a little bit more curvaceous up front, right? Okay. So there are new body panels there. The headlamps have been reworked. The uh, front grille has been widened to give it a more prominent stance from the front. So it looks a little bit softer and easier on the eye from the front. Uh, the back, of course, you know, they reworked that with the new tail lamps and everything. But overall, the side profile remains exactly the same as before the refresh. So it hasn't changed that much. But this new E mode, I'm feeling the E mode here. Right. It gives you just enough acceleration. Um, again, top speed of 158, but you're not really looking to do that in this, no. right? Mm -mm. If you really, if you really want to go fast, go for the Bentayga Speed model. You know that has a top speed of about 190. But this one is just all about cruising and having it. a peaceful ride. And I love it. You love it. Uh, you miss I'll being you in Bentley, huh? So. When I get it. <laughs> Uh, see, see, <laughs> now you're going to have them in the comment section asking me, hey, when are you going to get your wife a Bentayga? She a wants Bentayga. that Bentayga. So okay. <laughs> fuel economy, you're looking at about 17 city, 21 highway when you're using the V6. When you're using uh, the combustion engine and the electric motor, it gives you about 45 miles per gallon equivalent on that. So that's a drastic change from what you see in the standard Bentaygas. I can't get over how good the leather hide smells in these vehicles. Oh, yeah, I said that, too. Uh, just, when I got in, I was like, oh, I love it. Uh, it just smells <coughs> amazing to me. But overall, that's just a quick drive in the new Bentayga Hybrid. You guys, if you have an opportunity to check this car out, Bentley Atlanta has a few. I strongly urge you to check this vehicle out if you're interested in still having a nice luxury vehicle that gives you a small carbon footprint and good fuel economy. So overall, this is an excellent vehicle. All the characteristics of the Bentega that we love now incorporated in a more eco-friendly package. So again, this one is going for about 200,000. Base price is around 180,000. Chump change. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for joining us in this one and we'll talk to you in the next one. So that was a brief overview of this 2021 Bentley Bentayga plug-in hybrid. With 45 miles per gallon equivalent, would this be an option that you would consider over the W12 or V8 models? Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments section. I wanna give a special thanks to Bentley Atlanta for having me over. And until next time, I'm Ben Wayne, the automotive reviewer that YouTube deserves.